Uh, my name is Rodrigo Cortez. I'm the brand art director for Tom Clancy's The Division. Um, I've been working at, uh, in the game industry for 16 years and uh, the last 11 years I've been at Massive Entertainment, which is uh, part of the Ubisoft Studios. Can you talk a little bit about the engine and how you guys have developed that specifically for The Division? So we, st we started to, to work on this engine very early on, um, like around five years ago, uh, thinking of like what, what would be coming in the next generation and what, what were the challenges and also looking at the, the constraints we have. Like uh, we're in Sweden, we have a, a way of working uh, uh, where we don't have like the, the amount of people or the, or the type of games we want to make. So we wanted to make a AAA game, uh, like would compete with the biggest in the industry while having the uh, uh, season or like reasonably sized uh, studio, uh, like uh, massive. Uh, so the whole, the whole development very early on was based on those constraints. It was like, how are we going to tackle next gen? How are we going to tackle AAA production? Uh, and the solution was to make a new engine. Uh, and, and it was coupled to, to the division very early on. What is this? engine opened up in terms of the gameplay experience people will have with the division so uh, there, there are many things but one of the main things is that we we want to have full immersion that, that's like a mantra for us when we do games it's like immersion is very important and uh, how do you achieve immersion uh, so for example um, like just the fidelity of things like how the animation on the cloth the um, the lighting the particles all the things uh, put together is improving immersion so when you're playing the game you you are as immersed as you've ever been uh, while at the same time having a very deep RPG type of experience uh, even even looking at the UI you know, we, we got a lot of praise for, for our UI being uh, in world 3D and looking cool but in reality the whole thing why it, why it is that way is because we wanted to break the typical 2D uh, effect that you get like you, you, you have like a like something in between you and the game with the UI. We wanted to get rid of that uh, and we, we pushed the, the whole UI uh, all the way into the game uh, for immersion. And speaking of immersion, talk a little about the city you guys have recreated and how detailed and immersive that experience is. So we, we knew that we wanted to do New York and it's, it's based on New York and Manhattan and uh, like more downtown uh, area and we wanted to do something that is as uh, realistic, uh, realistic as possible while at the same time it needs to be fun. So we, we have done some, uh, uh, some creative choices there so it, it, it works with the gameplay but it, it, at, at the same time it has the same scale and level of uh, fidelity that you would expect uh, New York to have. Uh, from all the details when it comes to streets, when it comes to uh, signs, when it comes to stores, uh, when it comes to like um, what you see inside of the windows, uh, that there is life still. Uh, all of that is, is something we needed to, uh, uh, to be able to make uh, and, and we use Snowdrop for that, uh, to be able to achieve the fidelity and the size of, uh, of New York, which is uh, like an awesome city.